Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be doing a tutorial for the Slime Fun 4 add on Chest Terminal. You'll need Slime Fun 4 in order for this plugin to work. This plugin is heavily inspired by the famous mod Applied Energistics. So, what this plugin does, it adds a chest terminal that you can hook up to a cargo system that allows you to access all of your chest inventories in a very nice GUI um, chest terminal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this. All right, so now we can go ahead and access a chest terminal right now. So upon right clicking a chest terminal, as you guys can see, everything is sorted, sorted by the block that we have or the item. And it also tells you how many of that item you have stored. So if you're to left click, you just get one and we can just take it out and put it into our inventory. If you're to right click, you get a stack or however many the chest terminal has at the moment. So that's all really uh, nice and handy. And you can also go ahead and add an item back to the chest terminal by putting it in the blue section and that adds towards the total count. Now we can go ahead and see how chest terminal works with actual chests. So we can go ahead and create our own um, chest and have it be configured with chest terminal. So we're gonna need a cargo node output node and a cargo node input node. So we can go ahead and attach the output nodes here, input nodes here. You're going to want the um, channel to be set to channel 17 and it's set to 17 and you're also going to want the input node to be set to blacklist. And the output node you of course also want it to be set to 17 as well. Now we can look at this uh, chest terminal and as you guys can see there's nothing really in it. However, we can go ahead and put in a clock and now we're able to see that the clock is in our chest terminal. Chest terminal also works similarly with machines as they do with chests as well. So as you guys can see, we have some cargo nodes set up here, but instead of using uh, cargo nodes on the sides of the machines as we do with chests, we use export and import buses. So here we can go ahead and set in an electric gold pan and we can add in an export bus to this side and an import bus to this side. From here, we're going to put in gravel on the export side and it's going to take gravel from our chest terminal and it's gonna go through the um, electric gold pan and we're going to specify what we want to put in our chest now. So we're gonna put in flint, we're gonna put in iron nuggets, we're gonna put in clay, and we're gonna put in sifted ore. All of these is what's going to be taken from the electrical pan back into our chest terminal. So it really adds in a nice layer of automation towards your base. So we also have the wireless access terminal. As you guys can see here, it has a charge of zero out of 50. There's a range specified, and this pretty much allows you to access your chest terminal through your hotbar. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this in here so it can go ahead and start charging right on the charging bench. It charges pretty quickly, so we're already at 50 full charge. And now all we're going to do is right click to link the um, wireless access to the chest terminal and the link has been established. From here, all we're gonna do is right click on our chest terminal and we have full access to our um, chest terminal. So we right clicked on the wireless access terminal to access the chest terminal. And from here, we can still access things completely. We can store stuff and we can take stuff out completely remotely without even interacting with our chest terminal. So yeah guys, I think that just about does it for the chest terminal tutorial. Big shout out to Thymon19 for helping me come up with this tutorial. I'll leave a link to download chest terminal down in the description below as well. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.